let's introduce the concept of production possibilities from here in this video. And recall from the previous video that we said it's going to be related to the contract curve. Now once again on the contract curve we have the set of capital and labor that gives us this Pareto optimality between companies where they trade it until they cannot do any better. Now recall that we're interested in their production levels at that trade because whenever they exchange capital and labor they do so to maximize their own production. So for instance, just by using intuition we'll, we'll give some examples with numbers they're not going to be very accurate but it's going to make sense. So at this point over here at the yellow point we can see that we would have a corresponding yellow point on this production possibilities frontier curve. It looks like a line but it should technically be a curve. So this is our P PPF right? like that. Now at this level we can see that the clothing company has an indifference curve belonging to 30 units of labor, sorry, an ISO quant belonging to the 30 units of labor and 20 units of capital. So not much labor, not much, not much capital, respectively not much production. So something around 50 units in our case. Now on the other hand if we look at the ISO quant of the food company, so if we look from this perspective, from that origin, we can see that the food employs 70 units of labor and 30 units of capital which would give more production because it has more labor and more capital. Of course that's not the whole story, we also need to know their production functions, but just keeping it simple, let's assume that the more inputs they have the more production they would make. It's, it's intuitive, it will make sense, so let's leave it like that for the sake of the example. Now more inputs, more production, so we can see that the food would produce a hundred units, so much more than clothing, that's the idea. So this would be the level of production over here, 50 units of clothing and a hundred units of food. Now we go to the green dot over here, we can see that clothing employs 50 units of labor, 35 units of capital, well that's more than before, so it means it will produce more than before and we can see that it belongs on, a, on the graph to a higher level, 70 units of clothing now, so it makes sense. Same logic goes here, the food company employs only 50 units of labor and 15 units of capital, much less than it, it, it employed at this level, so it should have less production, again going to the production possibilities frontier on the food axis we can see it has 75 units of production, much less than the 100 of before, hope this makes sense. One last time at the purple dot, we can see that the clothing company employs 70 units of labor and 45 units of capital, so much more than before than at the green dot, meaning it would have a higher level of production and indeed the ISO quant is higher than before on a higher level, so that would be 95 units of clothing, more than the 70 of before. Same logic goes to the food. Food only employs 30 units of labor and 5 units of capital at this point, so much less than before, so at the last purple point food should be, food production should be quite low and it's only 30 units. Now two more, two more numbers, two more data to understand here, the intercepts, what do the intercepts show, this green data, 120 units of food. What is that? That's the maximum production of food if we employ the capital and labor only in food production. And by the same logic, 110 is the maximum production of clothing that we can make if we employ all the capital and labor in clothing production. Hope this makes sense. And the set of all these points over here, which are extrapolated from the contract curve, is our production possibilities frontier. That's literally our set, our limit of how much we can produce if we allocate capital and labor optimally in the market until the MRTS are equal for both company. Now because this is also like a curve, intuition is telling us that there's going to be a relationship with the slope of the curve. If we draw slopes, slopes always show something, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's going to have a meaning. So in the next video we're going to discuss what the slope of this production possibilities frontier is.